Oh my gosh! What is that smell? What? You defecated yourself? What is that? What is that smell? What happened? Oh! You left me here. You know of my condition, Jason, yet you left me here alone all night. You have a wheelchair. You could have wheeled yourself up to the toilet, but you chose to mess yourself there. Huh? What are you calling me? Calling me for what? About your nanny or something? You pushed me, remember? Look at me. Oh, God. Look at my legs. You did this to me. Instead of you to, to show some care, to stay back and take care of your wife, you, you just go out there to, 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 to go do to whatever. Meetings, going to meetings. Meetings, okay? That's all I've been doing, going to meetings. But you, you I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? Carry on my head to work or something? Huh? Jeez! You, you gotta stop this, you know? I am busy out there trying to grow your company, and here you are. They're accusing me, accusing me. Stop, stop accusing me, okay? Stop accusing me. I didn't accuse you, Jason. All I ask is for you to take care of your wife. I messed up myself because I couldn't go to the restroom in time. Like, I can't be here alone, Jason. I am supposed to come home to a loving wife, but instead, I come home to this. This smell, my goodness. What's wrong with you? Huh? All you had to do was get in the chair, will yourself in the toilet. What is this? My goodness. Things up in here. Jeez. Man, clean this place up. My goodness. He doesn't treat me well. He hits me, he kicks me. Just take a look at my face. You don't say that which you do that pisses me off. It's always me, 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 never your fault. It's, it's, it's never your fault, it's never Amanda's fault. Jason, my only crime in this life is loving you. <laughs> but you always hit me. Mm. No, look at me. Just take a look at me. This is a man I love. A man I can lay down everything for, but look at what he does to me. Amanda, just give us a few minutes, please. We'll be back. What the hell is wrong with you? This is a woman that you are married to. So gentle and loving. You manhandle her every single day. All right, listen, we're just having a misunderstanding. I love my wife very much. Love? Did I hear you say love? You don't love her. You're only interested in her money. Excuse me? You can deceive her all you want, but I'm not blind. You know what? I knew this cancelling thing was going to be a disaster the minute you walked through that door. I don't need this nonsense. What happened? Amanda. Even though this is against the ethics of our profession, you and I have been friends far longer than the period in which you have been married to your husband. I will advise that you walk away if it's not working for you. What, Mrs. Williams? Walk it's... away while you are still alive. Yet again, the decision is yours to make. But if I were you, I would walk away before he kills me. Happy birthday <laughs> to you! Happy birthday <laughs> to you! Happy oh my birthday. god, James! Happy <laughs> birthday! Stop singing, you don't 
my god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they stop singing. You have the worst voice. Hey, they listen, even singing. if I've got the worst voice ever, <laughs> it will not be a barrier for me to sing to my beautiful princess. Um, thank you, baby. Thank You're you so welcome. much. You have said that like seven times today. And I'll keep saying it. Happy birthday, my love. Thank Look you. Look at that. That is what I got for you. Oh Everything. My goodness, babe. Jason. I know, you like it, right? You love it. Oh my God, this must have cost so much. Baby, money will never be a barrier <sighs> making you happy. It gives me joy <laughs> Thank to buy you all these things. <laughs> oh, wow, babe. Hey, how about we drink, you know? Okay. We drink <laughs> to your birthday. Can I hold them for you? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And uh, hello, Mark. <laughs> I'm a man, you know. Mm. Okay. Now to <laughs> my beautiful wife. <laughs> To your birthday, to an amazing birthday. Thank you. To us. Thanks. <laughs> Sharing a beautiful life with you. Oh, babe, that's so sweet. Happy birthday. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> babe, we were supposed to go out on a night out, you know, go partying. As we couldn't organize a house party or uh, an office party in one of those exotic Jason, locations. Jason, and, Jason, huh? listen. What? Oh, please, please, please no, not in our lecture now. Don't, don't spoil this. This comes from a place of love, okay? Yeah. Just enjoy the gear. Honey, I know, and I really appreciate this, but babe, this is a very expensive watch. I mean, this is just too much. We could have used the money to buy multiple shares and, you know, secure the position we've been looking for with Brit's group. Okay, babes. <laughs> Your father's company is what, what, 800 million naira? That's close to a billion. I mean, we took it from what? 600 million to 800, almost a billion. I don't think that sounds like we're going into bankruptcy anytime hey, soon, you but know? still, still, but you baby. need to cut down on your expenses. Look, this is just too much. Listen, previously, you bought me, what, three designer handbags and a diamond necklace. Come on, baby, that's mm. a lot. It's too much. We need to cut down. All right, babe. Let's not spoil your night, okay? Let's just enjoy <laughs> every moment of it. Come here. Sist, I understand that he's trying to make you happy. But spending all that money? Come on, sis. You think I don't know? You think I've not been talking to him? Look, Jason is a good guy, mm. okay? It's just that he just, you know, he just needs a little, a little curtailing. A curtailing? Really? And you want to do that through dad's business? That business was left for you to protect. And I have been protecting it. In fact, he is doing a good job, Aria. Oh. oh. Amanda. It's just that I... I knew how much work that put into that business. How much the business meant to him and still means to mom. He left that business for us to treat it right, to take care of it. We're just here doing the opposite. Listen, I know, okay? Trust me, I do. Of course, of course. Yeah, but that is not how things are done, though. <laughs> All right, definitely. Um, you know what? Let me call you back, okay? I need to get back to work. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. <laughs> oh, gosh. Who is that? A friend. A friend? Yes, a friend. You don't believe me? 
you know, there are various kinds of friends. A normal friend won't make you laugh so hard, especially at work. Babe, what do you want? You're supposed to debrief me on your progress for the last few days. Oh, really? Is that what we're doing now? Changing the topic and then reminding me that you are the boss, you're my boss around here. Come on, Jason, that is a ridiculous thing to say. Listen, I never told you I was talking to a male friend, all right? I only ask for a work-related discussion, that's all. No, because you don't trust me or you don't fail to show it. I am good at what I do. But here you treat me like the rest of the staff around here. Jason, this is business. Husband or not, I am supposed to be debriefed. That is how things are done. I trust that you make the right decisions, but still, I'm supposed to know what everyone in their offices are doing. That's my job. Yeah, and that includes me, right? Honey. You know what, don't worry about it. Um, I will debrief you before the end of the day. Continue with your friend. Jay Jason, come. Just stop, okay? You've had your fun. <laughs> All right? I've spoken to your friend. Consider I've debriefed you. Come on, babe. Don't be like that. You can't keep being jealous. What can I say? This is your family business. You're the boss. And babe, and I have said this several times, this might be my family's company, and I might be boss, but... I'm never going to leave you. So babe, come on, just relax, please. These people keep calling you on the phone and you keep entertaining them. Babe, I mean, am I supposed to be happy? Come on, these are just courtesy calls, babe. There is nothing more to it. I'm serious, you know. <laughs> and I'm just saying you should relax, okay? Come on. Nobody is snatching me away from you. Nobody, okay? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> You're so funny. You want some of these? Okay, cool. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Jason! Jason! My goodness. Where is that husband of yours? Jason! Aria, what is what is this madness? What is this? Ex Listen, you might be my sister, but it doesn't give you the right to storm into my house this way. It doesn't. Then explain to me why my allowance was slashed. Or did you tell him to? What? My allowance was slashed and mom's own too. Excuse me, he did what? Sin is believe him. My allowance keep getting slashed. And then mom's? That is her husband's company. I mean... Who gave him the authority over us? Listen, okay, just, just, just relax, okay? When I get to work, I will talk to him. Just calm down for the time being, okay? You better do because mom is so furious right now. Listen, I'll have it sorted out. Just tell mom so, okay? Please. Maybe you should go talk to her yourself because things here keep getting crazy. I'm out. Aria, wait, out! Jason, you slashed my mother's allowance, you slashed my sister's, and you sit here pretending like everything is fine? I am trying to save the company money. We're growing this company into a bigger company. Oh, really? You reduce the allowance while you grow yours and you think it's going to work like magic? You reduced the allowance while your sister is always at our house collecting tips and checks. And I never question that. So Jason, you know what? You better go ahead and do the needful right now and send them their money. Fine. Thank you. Honey. Hey. Are you still hungry with me? 
You know, I hear all those things they say about me and the company. That I siphon money from the company. Come I mean, on, honey, come on. Nobody is saying such about you. And what about you? You seem to favor them over me, your husband. Babe, I don't favor anyone. I just want things to be done correctly. Look, I'm tired. I've got to sleep. I've got to look. I had a long day today and I will have an even longer day honey, tomorrow. Honey, listen. Listen, okay? Do not let office of financial issues affect our marriage. Financial issues and our marriage, they're equally as important. They're intertwined. Well, babe, regardless, regardless, we should go to bed as a happy couple. Okay? Come on. I don't have to do this every night. Okay. <laughs> Come in. Now go to bed. Look at you. He's just like, go to bed. He's so silly. I don't want you to be this way all the time, babe. I'm not trying not to be this way. This, you know, your family, I don't understand. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to make the company, you know. How is the food? Hmm. Have you checked? Um, checked what? You said your period was late last month. Have you checked this month? <sighs> Babe, come on. Don't you think it's too early for us to start discussing this now? Too early to discuss conception and childbirth? No time is too early to discuss such relevant topic. Jason. You know what I've gone through these past few years? I don't want to feel pressured this way. Bates, time and age is not on our side. And no one is pressuring you. Your body is just stressed out and you... You need to, you know, watch yourself and try to keep yourself... In well, this. I never said it was negative. Then you're positive. You're pregnant. You don't know, do you? I'll check and I'll have your answer. Hmm. Fine. Your friend Michael called. And could you please tell them to stop calling you? And they should leave it the heck alone. Hmm. Sis, take a look at this document. Sis, hmm? Yes? Uh, what's wrong? And please don't tell me nothing. Because I'm your sister and I know when something is wrong with you. What's wrong? What's up? Uh, I don't know. Wait, you don't know. You're pregnant. What? No. Uh, what? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Okay, listen. The thing is, I missed my period, okay? And now, Jason is asking if I've taken it yet. And the thing is, time is really not on our side. And just, it's just a lot of pressure. and That's insensitive of him. He knows what you have been through. Why is he asking you about child bed? Listen, sis, that's my husband we're talking about. Mm. I'm sorry to say this, sister. You have been married for what, five years? You've lost three pregnancies. His duty is to make sure that you're okay and you're fine. I'm not talking about child bed. A man who loves you will understand that. Arya, he loves me. Uh, that's why he wants to have children with me. Here you go again. Always quick to defending this man. Listen, I haven't said I'm pregnant yet, okay? So don't worry, I'll be fine. I promise. Mm. Anyways, your business. Keep on all this your marriage will have. Look at this document. All I need you to do is sign. That's it. So quick to defending this man.
Yes, come in. Hilda. Yes, sir. Um, I came here to drop these files with you and to also update you on your schedule for today. Where's my wife? Um, she didn't come in today, sir, and I tried calling you to tell you about it because she asked that I tell you to fill in for her, but you didn't pick up. What if I tell you I ignore that call because I want tea? Sir? Come on, stop with all the sub uh, bullshit. My wife is not here. And I've seen the way you look at me. Sir, I... Oh, I the eyes, they don't lie. <laughs> Listen, I know you want more than this office bullshit. But I think we can accomplish a lot together. But, um, so what about your wife? What about my wife? What about her? You don't tell her, I won't. Look, you're a beautiful girl. And if you're discreet, I mean, I can be discreet too. Hmm? What do you say? Um, so I'll think about it. Ah, oh, come on, Jason. Jason. Good. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. <clears throat> you okay? I guess you owe me an answer to something we discussed later on. Um, I did check. And? Negative, right? Maybe it's not my fault, okay? But listen, Jason, we're going to try again, okay? Try again? I am tired of trying again. We keep trying again. We've been trying for years. And you keep losing the baby. You keep taking him and losing them. Hold again on. Jason, and again. Jason, Jason, wait, hold on. Don't talk to me like this is my fault. I want these babies to as much as you do. And I am trying my best. Are you? Because I don't see you cutting back on stress and cutting back on work to conceive. Look, the doctor said that you're stressed out. So why not do the best thing, the next best thing, by cutting out on stress until this problem is resolved? Hey, hey. What was that you just said? What do you mean? Babes, you just promoted me to the position of managing director and demoted yourself to manager. The things we do for love, right? Listen, babe. I just want you to know that I love you. And I'm never going to let anything hurt you. Babe, thank you so much. I can't believe, I mean, look, about earlier on. Listen, honey, listen. I needed to do this, okay? I noticed how you felt because I hold a higher position. And I don't want you to feel any less of yourself. This is what love is all about. About making sacrifices. And I am happy to do this as long as it makes you happy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, we go back to your office. <laughs> um, so when, when, when are we going to... We'll wrap up later. Okay. okay. Look, 
Aria, Aria, listen, not now, please, not now. What do you mean, not now? Listen, I didn't get it. Why would you treat that company like it's your personal inheritance? Look, this is my, this is your watch, your company? He woke up one fine money and made a total stranger the managing director of a company that is not entirely yours. Look, I know how to make the right decisions for the company, right okay? decision indeed. By making your husband the managing director, putting him at the forefront of a company. Listen, Aria, how many times do I have to tell you that he is not a stranger? Ah, 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 ah. Indeed. Maybe I should also remind you that this company doesn't belong to just you. It belongs to the three of us. Mom, you and I. So before you can make such huge decisions, you should at least consult us first. Why? Because it's the right thing to no, do. No. Oh, really? Oh, really? So you can tell me how much of a stranger he is or how he incompetent he is to, to run the company. Listen, he is a good fit and he got the position. Simple. I know that love is shocking you. But let me tell you something. You see, business and love, it doesn't go hand in hand. It won't end well. I'm telling you. Listen. My husband is back. I don't want him in on this drama, so you need to leave now. So you need me to leave your house? You're not serious? Aria, I just need you to go home right now. I don't want any drama tonight. Fine. I'll let mom know how this meeting went. Well, it was not a meeting. It was a confrontation. If it's my body now, you have power. But if it's your husband, you can't talk like this. What was that about? It was nothing. Um, it was nothing. done with the data analysis of last month. Honey? Yes, please. Is everything okay? Look, this childbearing thing is really beginning to get to me. Come on, Jason, not now. Babes, I need to stop work. What? Jason, are you kidding me right now? No, I am not kidding you. Three miscarriages. I mean, I have the doctor's report. I just need you to stop work and focus on giving birth, you know? I need to be, I don't need this, I don't need to have this stress again. Hold on. And you think making me stop work will reduce the stress? Come that's, on, Jason. Babes, that's why you made me managing director, because you trust me enough to take care of the company. Now I'm asking you to actually take time off, you know, take yourself away from stress Listen. and have a baby. I can't do that. Babes, listen, I'm not, I'm not enforcing anything. You know, I'm just saying that let me worry about the finances while you take in. That's all. <sighs> Babe, listen, it's not forever. It's just until you take in, just until you have a baby or two, and then you can come back to work. Come on, this, this is... You, Listen, just let this go. Don't worry about this. I got you. Jason. I will take care of everything, okay? Come, come. Let's go to bed. You know? Come on. I'm talking to you, Jason. Where have you been, Jason? Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? I mean, why are you asking all these stupid questions? Oh. So finding out about my husband's whereabouts is stupid? I called you several times. What ended hours ago? Like, you should have been home. Like, where have you been? You know, I go out there, I kill myself. Work so hard and I come back here to be interrogated by you. You are supposed to be sleeping! Jesus. The whole essence of you resting is for you to have babies, right? Why are you disturbing yourself? Listen to Hey! I don't like repeating myself. You are supposed to be resting. What's wrong with you? Go there and sleep. Okay? Stop disturbing yourself. It's annoying. Goodness. Goodness. Can't get peace 
in my own house again. What is it? It's barely 8 o'clock and it looks like you're already sparring for a fight. Jason, Jason, please, please, just tell me this is not true. How could you do this, Jason? Oh. How? Oh, that's a little vague. You need to explain a bit more than what you're saying right now. You saw one of my mother's cars that we parked at the office? Oh, goodness. Jason, I kept the papers for the car right here and now they are gone. Aria went to the office to pick up the car and then she was told that the car was sold a few days ago. How? All right, I asked you to stay away, rest and stay away from the business. And here you are, you're poking your nose into the business affairs. God, wait. Is that the response you're going to give me? Jason, I have told you several times, the property belonging to my family is off limits. Yes, she went ahead to sell her car like, without even mentioning it to me. All right, you need to trust me on this, okay? Even you yourself said that the company needs more funds in the business. Oh, and then selling my mother's car would make the business boom or what? What about your own car, Jason? That garage there has cars sitting down there worth millions. I mean, I sold it to put more money towards the good of the company. Trust me, it's going to benefit the business and your family in the long run. Come on. Hello, Mom. Mommy, Mommy, please. I'm handling it, okay? Okay, mom. All right. Jason, this is so uncalled for. I asked for one thing, one thing only. Stay away from things belonging to my family. You know my mother, you know she does not bluff. I'm going to get dressed and I'm coming with you. I was thinking we inject a hundred million into the interior deco of the project we're working on. Okay. Give you that panache feel, you know. Yeah, that will work, yeah. I'll get the account to just sign off on that. Perfect. And then, um, so I'll get the accountant to approve that yeah. before the end of the day. Yes, so we need you to approve this for the disbondment of funds to get uh -huh. the properties at the co Atlantic so we can start fencing and clearing. Just go ahead and give it to him to sign off. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, okay, um, okay, and here's well. Um, what is this check? Okay, so I, I can be able to withdraw money and they can start up work on the site. Okay, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Here you go. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so like yeah, I was saying. What is this? Receipt of the car you sold. Aria, it hasn't gotten to this. Okay. Hmm. Really? Or would you rather want mom coming here with the police as she's then to? Fine. <laughs> this is a joke, right? A joke? Do you know what is a joke? My sister making a stranger the head of a company while he's running wild. Enough! Amanda, you knew how much mom loved that car. That was the last gift dad got her before he passed. 
Only for your husband to wake up and what? Sell the car. Aria. Listen, I'm going to sort it out. Okay? Trust me. Mom is giving you five days to buy back that car with the same specification or return the car you sold. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you'll be going to jail. I've already paid the money into the company's account. Oh, and it's really? been put to good use in the company. Good use indeed. Maybe I should ask the company accountant, right? Or maybe I should go through the inflow and outflow of the company's phone to see if that money was put in that account. And what are you insinuating? Huh? What I'm insinuating is that you buy back my mother's car or you go to jail. Don't hear. Aria! Aria! Aria, wait! I am still your elder sister. I'm talking to you. Wait! Amanda, I am very sure that dad would be weeping in his grave for leaving his company to you. I told you I am going to handle it. Handle what? And then your husband does the exact opposite. If he's so concerned about the betterment of the company, why didn't he sell his car? He chose no other cars to sell but mom's car. Aria, listen. I'm going to come home and then we're all going to <laughs> sort it no out, okay? That, because mom doesn't want to see you. She traveled right. Like, I don't get it. You just wake up and make decisions on your own without even consulting us. Mom has traveled. She'll be out for five days. And please, make sure that your husband returns her car by the time she gets back. Otherwise, someone is going to jail. Listen, look. I know that Jason has made some mistakes, okay? But he knows how to handle this business. Come on, he has been doing so for the past few years and very well. You just need to open up your heart and you're going to see what I am talking about. Well, I am not concerned about opening my heart to anyone. It's none of my business. That's the business between the both of you. All I am saying is, mom is going to be back in five days. So if your husband knows what is good for him, he should better return mom's car. He will. I'm going to make sure of it. He will. Fine. He should not use company's phone though, because that company's phone is being monitored. Aria, my husband is not a thief, so stop insinuating that. Stop it. Hmm. For someone who took someone else's car and sold it, what does that make him? Just to calm down, please, okay? I already paid part of that money into her account. You saw how rich that made us. Now they want to scatter this plan. See, I, I understand, okay? But what about your wife? I, I'm sure she believed that you channeled the money into the company's account, right? I was threatening to look into the account what? if I leaned that way. No, 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 no. We, we, we can't allow her, okay? See, that's going to put me in a very bad spot. This thing has gone south pretty fast and I don't like it or I don't. Okay, see, um, you know what? We're going to refund the money, okay? So that this whole thing will be cleared up as fast as possible, okay? See, with, with your wife out of the way, we're going to get many more opportunities. So this, this, this shouldn't be an issue, okay? Just forget about it. Trust me. All right, fine. Refund the money and please make the account as transparent as possible. Yeah, just in case you go looking. And um, we'll look for other unsuspected means to actually get our money, okay? This poor smart. I know, okay? Mommy, I told you I had it under control, didn't I? Mom, you have your money now, so you shouldn't be worried anymore. What? Alright, Mommy. I love you. Okay, mommy. Bye.
Hey, babe. Mm. Honey, you asked me to stay back home so that we can try on having babies. So in as much as we need the rest, we also need the sex, babe. After a long day at work, all you can think about is sex. Honey, listen. What happens at work should not interfere with our marital duties. You said I should try to take in so that I can go back to work, and this is me trying. But in order for that to happen, we need to have sex. Okay, but I'm not in the mood, okay? You should know when to ask for these things. Jason. I'm actually overlating right now, so our chance... And I said I am not in the mood. What is wrong with you? Huh? Your family seems to find new ways to attack me, and all you can think about is sex. Jason, I always try to make you happy. But you fail to listen when I keep telling you not to trespass on my family's affairs. Because when you do that, I have no power there. Then we have nothing to discuss. Excuse me. Well, actually, Jason, there is something I need to ask you, and you will listen to me, Jason. Jason, I saw some financial records today at the office. There are some loopholes, money gone without a trace. So that's it now. You have now joined your family in calling me a thief, right? So what is this? You now see me as a kleptomaniac trying to claw into your family's wealth? Listen, I did not call you a thief. I trust you, that is why I am asking to be clarified. What's really going on? I thought you had this on that I do. But I don't appreciate my every move is being questioned. I don't appreciate that, okay? How else can I say this so you can understand? I need you to stay off work. Stay at home and make babies, okay? Let me handle the rest. Jason, hold on. You will handle millions that already vanished. Like, I didn't tell me what the money was used for. I mean, you can't just bunch out of the company accounts just like that. Just now, get some. Mm. Ah! Amanda. 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 Did he do this to you? He would never do that, okay? He didn't. Then what happened? Why are you on a wheelchair? You didn't talk to anyone about it and all of a sudden you're confined to a wheelchair? Okay, Ara, I think it's this. Aria, it was just an accident, okay? <sighs> he didn't do this to me. In fact, he's been taking care of me. Jason is a good man. I've told you this before. Susan, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry, okay? Uh, I didn't know. You've been so quiet all of a sudden and... It's not as serious as Arya has made it to be. <sighs> Mommy, I am fine. Trust me. And he didn't do anything. Okay, it was just an accident. Please. Oh no no no, Mom, I'm okay. Just stay back and take care of yourself, okay? And I'll do the same over here. Okay, mommy. Good night. I didn't know you were going to cover for me. Jason, 
This is me showing you that I love you. And I'm not going to put you in a situation that is going to leave you in trouble. Your sister, she didn't seem to believe you. I mean, she... Look, what she believes or not doesn't matter. Every time. My sister this, my sister that. Jason, I have given up a whole lot for you. I have even promoted you against my family's wishes in the company. Like, what else do you want? At least I don't have to go to jail now. I mean, they've got themselves in your car. And you don't have to do anything. Just be, just get better. Yeah. So is that all you have to say, Jason? You're talking about a car when your wife has just been confined to a wheelchair. All right, listen, I've got to arrange meetings. You gotta go. Hold on, wait. What do you mean, like, who organizes meetings at this time of the night? Yeah, like, that's right. Who organizes meetings? Well, if I have to organize a meeting that will help the company grow, I'll do just that. So you just will yourself to bed. I gotta go. <clears throat> Jason. <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. do you know that the company is now worth 1.5 billion naira? Mm -hmm. Like we made a whooping half a billion naira in less than a year. And we do all the hard work. I know. That's why statutory money it's... is like the company's gift back to us for our hard work. I mean, we work hard together. We work amazingly hard together. I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. <sighs> mm. 
Um, Bobby. Yeah. What about your wife? Uh. Do you know a lot has been going on between us this past few months. I, I don't know what's your plan for her. Babes, let's take it one step at a time, okay? There's no need to rush. You know, we've got time, okay? All I want, listen, I'm here for you and you're here for me, right? Babe, we need a plan, okay? We need an actual plan. So that when we get enough money, we can be able to loop to some other country, somewhere really nice. Somewhere where we can start our lives together afresh. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. <laughs> but promise me one thing. The minute we've made enough money, we've taken enough money, we will elope. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Come here. Mm. Um, mm. you won't be going home tonight, right? Why would I? Because I'm talking that cripple? No. My home is right here with you. Mm. Mm. Um, so how about your wife? How is she? Better. <laughs> Even better now that she's in the wheelchair. But that makes things better for us. And Aria, she has more eyes on her than on the company. Didn't I tell you? You did. I told you that we were going to get our perfect chance. Like this is the distraction we never thought we needed. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel sorry for her. I feel bad for her, right? Well, I kind of feel a bit sorry for her. I shouldn't, but hey. Well, I understand that part, but... You know, this is just the best. Mm. You know, so she doesn't go around snooping and trying to decipher every other move. So mm. with her legs one place, we will definitely be able to go places. <laughs> you know you're crazy, right? And you love me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that smell? What? You defecated yourself? What is that? What is that smell? What happened? Oh, you left me here. You know of my condition, Jason, yet you left me here alone all night. You have a wheelchair. You could have wheeled yourself up to the toilet, but you chose to mess yourself there. Huh? What are you calling me? Calling me for what? About your nanny or something? You pushed me, remember? Look at me. Oh, God. Look at my legs. You did this to me. Instead of you to to show some care, to stay back and take care of your wife. You, you just go out there to to to, to Go to, to meetings, go to meetings. Meetings, okay? That's all I've been doing, go to meetings. But you, you I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? Carry on my head to work or something? Huh? Jeez! You, you, you gotta stop this, you know? I am busy out there trying to grow your company and here you are. They're accusing me, accusing me. Stop, stop accusing me, okay? Stop accusing me. I didn't accuse you, Jason. All I ask is for you to take care of your wife. I messed up myself because I couldn't go to the restroom in time. Like, I can't be here alone, Jason. I am supposed to come home to a loving wife, but instead, I come home to this. This smell, my goodness. What's wrong with you? Huh? All you had to do was get in the chair, will yourself in the toilet. What is this? My goodness. Things up in here. Jeez! Man, clean this place up! My goodness! <sighs> Look who's here. Come here. 
So, um, so good. Thank you. You sent for me? Yeah. Cash this. Paid it into our account. I've already taken care of everything on my end. You do the same thing on your end as the accountant. You know what to do, right? <laughs> you're such a smart and ambitious man. What can I say? Like I rule the best. You're exactly what I envisioned you to be. Get in here. Do you know that they actually check the account every single time and they mm. find absolutely nothing missing? Like it is amazing, but it's crazy at the same time. <laughs> you know, I couldn't have done this without you. I know. We're gonna be rich. We are rich already. Yeah. You know, to hell with everyone else. Yes. We own this company and everything. Really. You bet it does. Come here. Mm. Hello, Counselor. I am so hurt, Counselor. Oh, God, I really am. I'm in love with him. I love him so much. I like, that's the insane thing about this entire situation. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. do you know that the company is now worth 1.5 billion naira? Mm -hmm. Like we made a whooping half a billion naira in less than a year. And we do all the hard work. I know. That's why statue <laughs> money it's... is like the company's gift back to us for our hard work. I mean, we work hard together. We work amazingly hard together. I know. Unbelievable. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Um. Oh, babe. Yeah. What about your wife? Uh. You know, a lot has been going on between us this past few months. I, I don't know. What's your plan for her? Babes, let's take it one step at a time, okay? There's no need to rush. You know, we've got time, okay? All I mean, listen, I'm here for you and you're here for me, right? Babe, we need a plan, okay? We need an actual plan. So that when we get enough money, we can be able to elope to some other country. Somewhere really nice. Somewhere where we can start our lives together afresh. Okay, fine. We do it your way. <laughs> well, promise me one thing. The minute we've made enough money, we've taken enough money, we will elope. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Can be. Mm. Um, mm. 
you won't be going home tonight, right? Why would I? Because I'm talking that cripple. No. My home is right here with you. Mm -hmm. You were out all night again, Jason. I had business meetings. You I it? had to work. The workload is much. Are we going to do this chat every day? Hmm? You weren't taking my calls. You hear what I said? I said I was busy. Jason, <laughs> we are a big brand. So people come to us for business and proposals. Amanda? So I'm wondering, <laughs> why is it that you have to go out every night seeking out these meetings and all? I know the truth, Jason. You're seeing another woman. Ah! How dare you Jason, Jason, Jason. accuse me of cheating on you? Jason. You sit in this chair lamenting ah! about your leg. Why I marry myself out there for your company, for your family, and you don't even appreciate it. Oh, thank God, Jason. You dare hurt me. And I will hurt you again and again if you don't shut your face. Don't shut up. Do you understand me? Fine. If you can't take care of me, then I need a caregiver. Fine. Then call the company and get yourself a caregiver. I almost gave up. The company took a lot of time assigning one of you this time. They said you wanted a female. Yes, I did. The last one resigned because she said she wanted to go see her mother in the village. And I desperately wanted a female replacement. But that would have taken at least two months with the names in queue. <sighs> well, thankfully someone is here at least. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Um, can you please take me downstairs? I am really, really bored. Oh, sure. I can do that. All right. Thank you. Listen, Aria. I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. I've just been busy, that's all. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I had a caregiver. And actually, I have a new one right now, so I was not alone. Listen, you have to stop worrying about me, okay? I'm fine. Um, he was. He was here, um, but he, um, he stepped out to get some, some fruits for me, yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. I brought you water in case you need it at night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you need anything else? Oh no, nothing for now. Thanks. I noticed you were sad earlier. If you need someone to talk to, I promise you it will be 100% confidential. Listen, Fred. 
you really have to go home now, okay? Because very soon my husband will be home and he's a very jealous man and he will not like you to be here at this time. Oh, okay. Would you like to use the bathroom for the last time? Just go for it, okay? All right. All right. All right. Um, have a good night. Thank you. Good night. And I can go. Tell me, can bring myself to face the times that I've changed. Cause there was so much promise from the start. Things to go wrong. If you can't treat me right, then why the hell treat me wrong? Maybe there's a piece of the puzzle that I'm missing That I should be the one to To suffer, suffer for love Is there any justice for the one who is a sucker for love? But to do it right is to suffer for love Is there any justice? Yeah, yes, I am. I am. Oh, what? I just, I need, I need to get this cleaned. Um, I hope you didn't cut yourself. No, 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 I'm okay. I just need to get this cleaned. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Tell me now, when do I get my justice after giving everything that you won't do? I could read you this if it would help you sleep faster. Okay, go ahead. It's fine. We're standing by one of the humped packed bridges that are over the canals enjoying the scenery. Wondering where Harry disappeared to. Little nuts of English are scattered around sitting on cars and railings. Hooligan Roadshow as he places the machine on the table and start sleeping about with his tapes. He puts this in the cassette military music, the sort of song the poor bastard played as he trooped off. After 10 now, and it's nice knowing the bars will be seven late. The water's burnt out stretch of black in between bright, lit buildings. And one with English and the other with a mixture of English and locals. Might not be local to the red light.
Please, this please, slowly. How dare you? Hold on. How dare you touch Jason, my wife? Jason is just... How dare you lay your Jason, filthy hands on no, 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 no. my wife? Oh, 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 no, 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 Jason, stop it! Jason! Jason, stop! Jason, stop it! Jason, stop it! Jason, stop! Jason! 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 Fred! Jason, what have you... Fred! Jason! Jason, stop it! You should go upstairs. It's late. Jason, you nearly killed a man before me today. How are you so calm? You're thinking about him, right? What is wrong with you? Like, what is really wrong with you? When will you start believing that I can never cheat on you? I think I should carry you upstairs, you know, and lay you down. I walked into this house and I saw him touching your leg. No man touches my wife and goes scorched. He was only caring for I me, said, Jason. I said, shut up! Oh, you care for him so much now that you have the effrontery to talk back at me. Maybe I should have you lying beside him. Maybe I should have you fighting for your life. No, no, no. I'm fine, man. Ah. Ah. Like I said, I'm, I'm fine, mom. You don't have to be worried. I am more worried about you. How do you live with a man like that? Thank you so much for checking up on me, mom. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Take care. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, mom. Bye. Um, I didn't know you have family. We would have called. That was my client. My husband did this to me. She was just calling to check up on me. Mm. Okay. Sorry. Uh. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Okay? Uh. okay? I'll see you later. You'll be fine, okay? Hello, Mr. Jensen. Your wife called the man. Okay. Yes, please. Listen, I'm going to give you the address to the hospital, okay? And a number to call when you get there. Just help me deliver the food and on time. Who are you talking to? No one. No one. No one. You know, I know you called him last night. And now you're organizing food to be taken to him. Don't you learn? I mean, have you no shame? Jason, you beat up this man. He barely even worked here when this happened. Like, 
Like, do you ever think like, or did you ever think like, what if he just reports oh, to his my... agency, or what if he's the police? Like, what? Ah! My frail wife is thinking about me, worried and thinking about me when you can barely even walk. Jason, listen, you really need to stop all of this. You were worried about him talking to the agency about me protecting my wife, right? Well, guess what? You don't have to worry about him anymore. Jason, what, are you, what, what do you want? Jason, what are you planning on doing? Jason! <laughs> oh, God, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up. See the message. Oh, God. Oh. Thank God. Hello? Listen, listen, listen. Listen, look, I don't know. My, my, my husband just left here right now. I think he's going to do something, so you need to be careful. Okay. Yeah. What is this? I asked you to call me when my wife calls him. Yes, and I told you. Well, I have a job for you. See, my wife, she's beginning to catch feelings for him by calling him and trying to send him food. And also there's a risk of him talking when he gets out of here to his agency. I want him silenced. Silenced? Silenced? I want you to take care of him today. Nobody knows he's here except my wife and I. This is part payment. When you get a job done, I will pay you the other half. What? <laughs> we'll do it. Do I have to worry about this one? No, sir. We, we will do it. Hmm. All right, now I will need to see proof that you've done it. Then I'll pay the other half. Are you okay? Okay. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Not here. What? You told me he was lying here. You told me he could barely move. Now where is he? Where? He was just here when you called me into the office. He was lying here. He must have gotten 
the things that is about to happen. We must find him. I'm not ready to give back Jason his money. Find him. What if we don't need to find him? What if we don't need to find him? Are you out of your mind? It is an easy shot to have good money breathing in our account. There will no what if. Find him. Inject him. Listen. How many hours has it been since Jason left? Three hours. Meaning Fred could have been long gone. Think. And so, what do you want me to do? I can't tell him he's missing. Who said we have to? Look around, dog. This is God blessing us. We don't need to kill anybody. We'll tell him we did all he asked. And there was no time to capture the evidence as we needed to dispose the body fast. We get the money and that's it. Okay. We will tonight and call him. I hope you're fine. I hope you are. Oh God. My God, I've been waiting for your call. What's the update? I assume you have proof for me, right? All right. I will send you your balance for a job well done with a little extra, okay? All right, bye. Okay. Everything is perfect. Go back to sleep, okay? Go back to sleep, okay? Are you sure? Yes, I am very sure. We have more than enough to go to every single where and anywhere we want to go to and start <laughs> life afresh. And mm. babe, I was also thinking, I think you should actually kill your wife so that we won't have anyone looking for us when we leave, ever. You know, I never really loved my wife. She helped me get a job in her father's company. Mm. And she kind of took a liking to me. I mean, the boss's daughter was in love with me. Really? That was what happened? Mm. I saw an opportunity to get out of poverty. So I went along. And I just kept on getting promoted from one position to another. And now I went out. And you have the opportunity, okay? We can leave now. It's just the perfect time for us to leave. And moreover, this time, 
you'll be with somebody you love so much. Hmm. Tell me. You know, it's so hard when you're with someone you have no feelings for. Right. But when you're with someone, uh, it just feels like the world has come to a standstill. <laughs> And the truth is, you can never trust a man to fall in love with you. Absolutely not. Where is Fred Jason? What? You've been gone for two days now. I have not heard from Fred. And his line is not going through. Where is he? Since when did I become Fred's caretaker? Hmm? I sent people over to the hospital to mm. check on him and they said he disappeared. You killed him, didn't you? Hey. You better watch your tongue. What the hell happened to you? What changed you, Jason? Money? So because you think you have access to millions, you think you can just treat people anyhow you like? Mm. You used to be a great guy. You used to be so lovely. Like, what the hell happened to you? I never treated you like trash, Jason. I took you in. And I took care of you. I made you right. I made you who you are. But look at you now. I can sense that something bad has happened. I can sense that you have done something really, really bad, Jason. Are you insinuating that I killed him? Jason! Oh! Oh, oh my God! Jason! Oh! Oh, Jason! Yeah. Oh my God! Where are you at? house for you. Since you know, didn't you see he tried to kill you now? This guy is an animal. He's going to do it. Look, he's not going to do anything stupid again. Just call the family lawyers and we're going to, to prepare the divorce. He, I will not leave this house for him. You will leave this house. You are a bastard. Ingrate. Idiot. Manageable fool. Sis, please just come and try. Try, please. It's okay. It's okay. Why didn't you speak ah. up? Sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry, so so sorry. 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 Sorry, so sorry. 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 Where is he? Where is he? What's going on? I hope nothing happened. Oh my god, what where have you been? I've been trying to reach you for the past 48 hours. What happened? You didn't call me to the office. So, so, so I don't understand what happened. Wait, you did it. You killed her. She's filing for a divorce. And Ira stepped in before I could kill her. Okay, so, so, so when do we leave? Immediately I sign the divorce papers. We leave, okay? okay? I will come here tomorrow. I'll pick you up at 9 a.m. in the morning. And I will go down there, sign the papers, and then we're gone for good. Really? I can't believe this is happening. We're finally going to live here together. Yes. Oh Listen. I'll see you later, okay? okay. Be careful, okay. babe. Be careful, Be okay? Ready, okay? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Be careful. All right. It's finally happened. We used to be the toast of the town. Never knew you'd be the one to let me down. And now you leave me with 
causing questions If I did everything right Should I be the one To suffer for love Is there any justice for the one Who's a sucker for love Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right to suffer for love? Is there any justice for the one who is a sucker for love? Tell me now. Love. What's going on now? Why is it taking so long? Why is it not out yet? It's a lie. Turns out he was stealing company's funds. I hired a private investigator to investigate him. He opened a secret account with Hilda. Hold on, wait, wait. The company's accountant? That's impossible. Well, turns out they are having an affair. He was stealing from the company and stashing it up in our account. And that's not even the bitter part. That idiot was selling off that estates and rebuying them in his own name. Again. He's so evil. Listen, we're not just going to let him go just like that. What? I guess this is why I cut all ties with you and your family. Jason, it took me so long to see the truth the counselor had been trying to tell oh, me man. all this while. I tried to change you by being good to you. Yeah. I actually really genuinely loved you, but this... This is what you chose to do to me. Look, you brought this all upon yourself. You know that, right? You choked me with your love. I just stayed around because... I didn't want to go back to being poor. Poverty. Mm. So yeah. you lied to me. You lied to me. Hey, babes. You lied to my family. All right. Stop crying for spilled milk. Move on with your life. Pick up what you have left. Move on with it. You see, you wanted a divorce. I never wanted to be in this marriage in the first place. <laughs> Goodbye, Amanda. And you. Goodbye. Officer, arrest him. He assaulted me, planned my mother, paid the doctor and nurse outside to kill me. What are you talking about? Arrest him. Mr. Jesse, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Look, I don't, Officer, know, I don't know what you're talking Mr. about. Jesse. Whoa. Calm down. Come on, it's past nine already. What was the matter? Could be the problem. You know what? It's over now, after all. I'm going to get my man before that crippled woman is going to take him away from me. What rubbish! What I would be taking him so long. I don't know what he's talking about. I, 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 hey. Stop lying! That's the conspirator. I'm Please! Your two ends on your head. You're under arrest. Move! Officer, move him! Move! Move! You'll never find anyone move, like me. Move, move, move! Amanda! You love, love, you never find love like mine! If you can train me right here. I'm trying to tell you, but you're just blinded by love. It's okay. You'll find someone better. You'll be fine. It's okay. Alright, let's go. We've got this. Okay? Mm. One step at a time. Oh. I'll suggest you don't lean on that pole. <laughs> <It's difficult. laughs> you got this, you got this. Oh my gosh. Okay, keep going. Don't <sighs> stop. 
You're doing just fine. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Keep going. Just one more to go. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Sorry about that. You've made so much progress. Oh my Thank you. Wait, does that mean that I can resume work on Monday? Mm, yeah, but you will need crushes to aid your movement. Oh, finally. Can we? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Now let's continue. You have to walk to the city. Oh, goodness, okay. <laughs> you, okay. You've got this, you can do it, trust me. You know. Easy. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Take that step now. Take it. Okay. Keep going, no need. Don't worry, you can stand on your own. Okay. Who needs to check in so we have is your most sweetest drug. We be throwing caution to the wind. Cause I'm on a chase of the pleasure that you give. No, we ain't taking no prisoner. It's like I'm on a blind bridge, don't care who's 